apparently there is some woman that is trying to extort Adrian Bronner, right? So, you know, Adrian Bronner, he's a boxer. If y'all listening and don't know who he is, he's a boxer. He's the one that fought Manny Pacquiao in them fashion over shorts or whatever. And he thought he was going to do his thing. And Manny Pacquiao literally beat his ass. I'm talking about Peter Rowe, Molly Wap, two piece in a biscuit, tore his ass up. You hear me? And Adrian Bronner, he, after the fight, this man was jumping around all on the ropes and stuff, celebrating, acting like he don't won. We like, dude, you did not win. Then he gets to the reporter. He's telling the reporter, I won. The hood say I won. No, no, we didn't, gang. No, we didn't. The hood did not say you won. Everybody was watching. You get your ass beat up. Man, the packy, I was like, beep, 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 tan your ass up. You like this right here. You got the TP. You ain't even got your grill. He was tearing your ass up and you hopped up talking about you don't want. No, you did not. Anyway, it got to be something seriously wrong with this man because not only was he delusional thinking that he won, he told the lady that was trying to extort him for some money. He had said, uh, the lady had said that she going to share his news and he, I, I guess she gave him a time frame you got until this amount of time baby to run me that whatever i'm asking you for you got this amount of time to run me that and i'm gonna share the news and she kind of gave us like a glimpse of what she was gonna show baby adrian Bronner said <coughs> he said show the pictures you show the pictures i don't care show them you shouldn't have let me fuck for free you hear me? That's the reason why I told y'all I had been doing them videos telling y'all, talking to y'all about free pussy. Go back and watch them. Y'all be sitting up here talking about, oh, you don't want to, you 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 know, you don't want to, uh, you know, get some for something. You know, y'all be sitting up here making it seem like, you know, for you to get something out of your 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 situationship, your whatever you got going on with that person, it's a problem with that. Y'all flat backing for nothing. And these men know, like I told y'all in the previous video, these men know that they supposed to be doing something to have you. And they look at you some type of way if you don't do nothing, if you don't require nothing for them to have you, at least make him go get you a 10-piece lemon pepper or something with an extra wrench. At least do something, bitch. A tank of gas, something. If he on the way to your house, tell the man to stop by the store, get you a Pepsi or something, whatever. Whatever. it don't matter ask him for something goddamn me you know what i'm saying something he on your way to the house can you stop at the store right now can you um while you on your way over here can you stop and give me a bag of fun some fruit roll up some zuzus and wham whams or something you get what i'm saying get make him bring you something so it could be like okay it took something to get i ain't gonna tell you how much to get yours up for because that's just that's just contingent upon you and what you going for you know what i'm saying i ain't telling you to sell it but i'm just telling you it ain't for free you get what i'm saying because these men understand that they supposed to be doing something to get in between your legs and you letting them get off and they embarrassing the hell out of you down to the internet so you better start asking for something or make him run you there put it on the dresser or something like that these million dollar men or whatever they know what's up they know what they know what's up and you ain't sleeping with him uh you ain't sleeping with him for nothing see y'all sit around and sleep with these million dollar men and y'all feel like oh you got some good coochie and i'm gonna sleep with him and he gonna fall in love with me i got the best box i got the best box on the block and you think you gonna get him on the back end you crazy as hell you make him go ahead and run you there on the front end because you don't know what these men gonna do a man with all this money and all this access or whatever he ain't caught up off you Go ahead and get you you right then and there. And then, you know, so that reason why you ain't got to be all in your feelings. You ain't got to be trying to embarrass him and yourself on the internet talking about you finna show his, show his news. And bitch, you go go to jail. You get what I'm saying? Because that's revenge porn. Like, at least if you're going to do that, you know, make it seem like get it leaked or something. You sit up here, you got five, four, three, two, one minutes left before I, I, I put this out here and try to extort your ass. Your dumb ass going to jail, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Quit playing with folks. I don't get it. But either way, that's neither here nor there. But Adrian Bronner, I'm not mad at him for that. I don't be mad at these men that get them one off, you know, because y'all let them do it. So long as you let them do it, hey, listen. You want to play these games, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That is what it is.
I hope you black men were paying attention. I hope you black men were paying attention.